Hey there, Joomla fans. Tim Davis here. Thanks for tuning in to uh, Maintenance Monday here, the live stream on the Basic Joomla Tutorials channel. Uh, it's barely Monday anywhere else in the world. It's been a pretty busy day here at CyberSalt World Headquarters. Lots going on, including a big hole in the backyard, someone fixing the septic system. But it's still Monday some places, especially here on the West Coast in Canada, and probably Hawaii, Alaska, a few other places. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, today, uh, uh, today's topic and by the way if you are watching uh, say hi and pop in chat there let us know that you're there uh, today's topic is how to empty the Joomla cache from without logging into the administrator area of your site and I'll tell you why I picked that for today's topic I was in church on Sunday and had my uh, phone in airplane mode so it wouldn't ring and interrupt the service and uh, at about uh, I don't know about 1 30 I was done talking to people put the phone back on and I got notification that one of my websites was down, the, the main cybersalt.org site or the big cybersalt.org site. And, uh, but I, I didn't get any notifications that any other sites were down on, on my server, on my sites or the sites that I host for people. So I knew I probably had a repeat of a problem, which was that one of the temporary files, and this has happened to me about three or four times now with the rocket theme with Gantry 5, uh, one of the temporary files went to make a folder, but the folder already existed. Now, I don't know what the cause of this problem is. I even am guessing that maybe somehow randomly every now and then it just picks the same folder name, although it's got one of those crazy long names to it. But uh, anyways, um, all I had to do was go and log into the site and empty the cache and the site came back up and was live and that error was gone off the site. So I knew that there's a way for me to uh, schedule things so that that cache empties or is emptied every now and then. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you how to set up uh, on your site because I'm going to set it up on my site because if there ever is a problem with a temporary cache file and uh, uh, you set the cache to empty every so often, whatever period you set, it'll just take care of itself. Uh, my site was down for an hour and a half. Had I set it to uh, empty the cache every hour, it would have been down for an hour and then it would have been fixed and kept going. And uh, that's not really, uh, my phone is hardly ever in airplane mode anyways. So it's just a good safeguard that I want to have. And so uh, it might be a maintenance setup for your site too. So let's check out how to do that. And we'll switch over, bring up the screen here and what we're going to be doing is using regular labs cache cleaner. So if you want to follow along this video after, if you're watching a replay of it, after it's uh, being processed and it's up on the channel, then why not pause here, go to regularlabs.com, uh, find the cache cleaner and you can download it. Download the free version. You can do this with the free version and uh, install it on your site. And if you uh, don't know how to install that, if this is all pretty new stuff to you, Go down to the uh, videos. There's a tutorial on how to download it and install it. And you might even recognize the voice of the person talking on that video. So we're going to get Cache Cleaner and we're going to install it. Now I have it installed on this free Joomla install. Sort of an ugly little site I've been monkeying around with. So I have some links from showing people things. And uh, But I've installed it on that. So I here we are. We'll look in the back end at Components and regular labs extension manager which will uh, go uh, which you can also install from the regular labs site in order to find it or you could go compo uh, you could go to extensions and plugins and go to the cache cleaner and you could filter uh, uh, the title of that plugin to find it quickly but the great thing about the regular labs extension manager is I can go down here to clean cache or cache cleaner I can click on the system plugin and it will open up right at the plugin here on in the back end of the site. So we're going to click and go into there. And um, so I'm going to show you three ways that you can set this up in order to uh, make it so that you don't have to log into the admin area of your site. The first way is that you first thing you want to do is uh, create a front end secret URL. And as we scroll down here in this first tab of the plugin, you'll see you just gonna you have to put in a front end secret word. So I've put in clean me. And basically what's going to happen is now when I go to www 
the, the domain address of this site, which is basicjoomla.com forward slash free Joomla. That's the folder that I've put it in. When I go to that forward slash index.php question mark, clean cache equals clean me, when I go to that URL, then it will dump the cache in the back end of the site. And to demonstrate that, let's just go to uh, a tab here that shows that home page. Close that little green box. We're going to see that in a second. Here we have the URL of the page, forward slash, question mark, clean cache equals, and then my um, my secret word, and it's clean me. Now watch, as we hit enter on that URL, we will see a message pop up saying that the cache has been cleaned, 127,000.96 kilobytes, so just over a meg. Now, I do have a window open up here, which is the file manager, uh, on the web hosting account for this site. And you will see that um, I have a, I have it in freejoomla.com forward slash cache. So I'm looking at the cache file of this Joomla install. And you'll see that uh, right now, the last time the cache was emptied was eight, all these cache files are from 8.23 tonight. But because we just went to that URL with that secret word at the end of it, I can reload this and you'll see now it's all renewed at 8.42 p.m which is the time we just did it. So that's one of the methods in order to empty the cache without having to log in. So basically you could make a shortcut for this on uh, in your browser for that URL. Where will we find that name again? For that URL and you could have it to just do a drop down on your mobile phone or whatever. So if you're out somewhere and it's like, oh, I need to empty the cache, something's gone wrong, or you just like to empty it every now and then without logging in back to the site, then by all means, you could just bring up that bookmark. Now, another thing that you can do is you could put after your secret word, you could put uh, ampersand break equals one. And what that's going to do is it's going to cause the cache to be cleaned without calling for your page. Now, one of the advantages of that is this. If you're keeping track of the traffic to your site using Google Analytics or some other tool, you don't want to be constantly adding hits to the pages because it would register a call to this page and why mess up your stats and your graphs. This method, by putting ampersand break equals one at the end, uh, is a way to keep from having the whole page called. It's quicker and, um, and you again, you preserve the, the purity of your analytics. Uh, so you'll see that you, uh, in fact, let me just go back to the uh, home page here. I'm going to uh, click on home just so that we dump something into the cache that's new. Now we go to this uh, longer URL and when we hit enter, we'll get a message that the cache has been cleaned. 77 kilobytes has been cleaned. And we can go back to the folder here, uh, to the cache folder using our file manager in the hosting account. We can reload and we'll see that now lots has been wiped out. Now the reason that lots was wiped out in that, this method was because using the other method with the secret word only basically empties the cache, but then it makes a page for you to view and that reloads the cache. It'll be the most current view of what you're working on. But, but again, this isn't so much for use for when you're working on your site, but when you need to empty the cache remotely. So that's two methods. And now I want to tell you about the third method, which really fits in with the title of a Maintenance Monday. And that is how to do this with a cron job. If you go to the basic, uh, go to the regular labs site and look at Cache Cleaner, click on the tutorial link and you'll see lots of things that you can do with the free version, lots of settings uh, for Cache Cleaner and also what's available for the paid version. Scroll down to the very bottom and you'll come to this section that talks about, I will just have to find that. I thought it was right at the bottom. No worries, we'll find it quick. I'm just gonna go F3, search for cron, cron jobs. There we go, under cron jobs. Here is the code that you want to do to create a cron job in your on your server, in your hosting account. And basically this code uh, will run in the background at a specific time interval that you set, and it will run the clean cache, my secret ampersand break equals one. 
uh, my secret being whatever your secret word is. When you create that uh, cron job in the back end, then you don't even have to worry about calling it from a URL. And if for whatever reason, such as the reason that I'm gonna, going to do it, you want your cache emptied every hour of everything, so everything works all together, then uh, it'll just happen throughout the night while you're sleeping or while you're working or when your phone's off in church and uh, it'll take care of that problem. It's gonna take care of my problem. So you can get that code from, uh, and I'll post it in the, uh, in the, in the comment, uh, in not the comment section, in the description setting below. Get that code and make a cron job. And in fact, here, let's just make a quick cron job out of that code. I am in a C panel for this uh, web hosting account for this basic Joomla.com free Joomla site. And I've already gone to the cron tabs. I've searched for cron tabs in C panel and I'm going to add a new cron job. Now over here on my other screen, I have notepad and I already have here the URL that I need in order to run uh, this on my site. Uh, run this for this particular Joomla install. wget q capital O, I think that's capital O, forward slash dev forward slash null. That just keeps output from being emailed to you every time this runs. And then you put the URL that is going to be run by wget. Basically, your server's going to try and get the page at this URL. Doesn't know that there's not a page there, but when this code is run, your cache will be emptied in the background. So we're going to copy that code and you can make the adjustments as you need to for your site and figure out what works on your server but again you can get a, a blank a version of that code here on regular labs i'm going to take that code i'm going to put it in the command line and before i hit add a new cron job i have to say how often i want it to run and uh in this particular setup of cpanel on cybersalt hosting and if you're looking for hosting hey why not give me a call contact me tim at cybersalt.com um, I'm going to go through these quick drop down options and I want to run this once. I'm going to say once per minute for now, just for our own purposes to see that it's working and changing the date, uh, change, uh, see the time changing on the folders that are emptied. But then later on, I'm going to select once per hour, but I'll select once per minute and that's going to put asterisk stars in everything. I just have to go add new cron job. It says it is successfully completed. And now it's down here every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every weekday, it's going to run that link and empty the cache on my site. Now let's give that a minute to run just to make sure that's working. And so while we're doing that, let me just go back here to the giveaways pro page and let you know that it's uh, less than, well, like I said, 27 hours, 27 hours until the uh, giveaway for October, 2017, the myjuma.com uh, membership giveaway a membership to manage one site for one year on myjoomla.com. Uh, check out some of the other Maintenance Monday videos and uh, other uh, some other things on the channel as well, and you'll see how I'm using myjoomla.com to manage my sites and the sites for a lot of my clients, a bunch of my clients. Um, and so you can win a membership for a one year to manage one site. And as you'll see that there's 55 entries, that's record entries for this month, uh, we're going to be doing one, flip it right over, start again in November, but you can enter and get in on this one or whichever the most current one is at basicjuma.com giveaways. And I'll put, every, I'll put throw some cards up top and put the links and everything below as I usually do. All right, so let's go back to file manager and we will see that the last time when we refreshed this folder, it was 844 and we'll look down here at the time it's 850 when i reload this page now we see the last time that that folder was created is 850 pm so we know that that cron job is working so this is a bit has been a bit of an involved a bit longer maintenance monday than usual but i wanted to show you this because it really does uh, solve the problem that i was having let me just change here to the full screen here solve the problem that I was having uh, with no, just wondering if I'm away from my site or if I turn my phone off for an hour and a half, if I win this lottery and uh, uh, if I win this lottery and I get things uh, and the site, my site goes down, when am I going to hear or find out? I wish that it was set up so it would just, just fix itself. 
maybe, and the longest the site would be down for me with this problem would be 60 minutes because maybe the cache file, the problem would happen uh, 55 minutes into the hour and then my site would only be down for five minutes. It might not be an issue for you, but it was an issue for me and uh, there's enough people on the internet that it's probably an issue for some others too. So I hope that that helps. Uh, uh, hey, yo TV. Hello. I see you there in the chat. And uh, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, saying hi and tuning in. Uh, in fact, we'll chat in just a second because that ends it for uh, this week's Maintenance Monday, number 11. Oh man, we're so close to getting a whole bunch of new tutorials uploaded to the site and to the channel. Things are really going to be uh, taking off and advancing for the amount of for the volume of uh, tutorials and information I'm getting on there as uh, things change for me here at CyberSalt World Headquarters. Plus, you'll have a new logo for CyberSalt.com, a rebranding underway, and I'll be sharing more about that. So I think that that covers everything that I wanted to cover for Maintenance Monday about uh, setting up, how to set up, uh, set things up so that your Joomla cache is emptied without you going into the administrator area. Empty it with two types of URLs, or also empty it with uh, by setting up a cron job which will empty that as well so i see a uh, high tv um a uh, hey tv and uh you're asking which topics which vids we'll get to that right after i say bye to everybody else but everyone who is here feel free to stick around and we'll keep chatting uh and uh as always uh we'd be great if you would uh, subscribe if you like this video give it a like Subscribe to the channel, ring that bell so you get notifications, and that helps other people find it and uh, gets the word out. So I'll sign off as usual. Enjoy your Joomla sites, and God bless. Okay, hi old TV. Am I pronouncing that right? Hey yo. Hey yo or hi? No, hey yo TV. Um, uh yeah that well and yeah already done yes this video this live stream is ended but it'll be up there live it'll be up the recording pretty soon so which topics am i going to be covering let me just switch to the chat window here so everybody can read along and um jep hep hep oh hepo tv is that it am i close jep Jeppo TV. I could get you to type it phonetically. Uh, let me bring up. Oh. Okay, you said yes, but I said too many things. So, okay, I'll try one here. Um, oh, Jep. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm go with yep. If you can tell me what it rhymes with. Yeah, I see that you're German, so. Uh, tell me if you can type what the J-E-P rhymes with or H-A-J. Oh, the name is German. Okay. I just, I, I just always try to pronounce things the way that they're supposed to just as a uh, courtesy. But I've uh, had a lot of friends that have come from other countries and I've said, well, what's your name? And they say, well, just call me Bob. And I say, no, I want to learn your name. So I want to be able to pronounce your channel name properly. Now I'm just opening up my OneNote. And I'll tell you what some of the topics are that are I've got planned here for um, not only Maintenance Monday, but also uh, more of the tutorials that I record and, and then upload. Um, so uh, one tutorial that I've, I'm going to make is that uh, on the problem... It, it is the problem of iframes being stripped out of... Uh, Joomla when you put an iframe like embed a YouTube video in an editor sometimes it gets stripped out and that's a frustrating problem I run into often with new sites so I'm going to do that um, I'm going to uh, do the follow up on maintenance Monday last week which was how to uh, was to remove unused extensions someone asked uh, how you can tell if you should remove an extension ha and yo okay ha yo ha yo tv Ha Joe. No, that would be Joe, right? Okay. Ha Joe. Ha Joe. Okay. Um, another case, let's see. I have another another tutorial planned here. Um, uh, how to replace missing t 
tags menu item. I've got a site that when you go to extensions, uh, when you go to components, the, the Joomla tags do not show up to link to. And so I've got a tutorial coming up on how to fix that because I have to fix that on the site and I figured it out. Uh, tutorial on how to reset a forgotten admin password. Um, a, a neat little trick I just thought of the other night with Regular Labs Advanced Module Manager System. Uh, as I was helping a client uh, to help them manage which are which modules appear where uh, other things um, I've got CC word uh, macro I don't know what that means I'll have to figure that out again uh, how to speed up your admin page loading uh, there's some things that you can turn off that will make it load faster when you go and log in the first time uh, I've got a friend uh, online there uh, who's uh, wanting some help with ACY mailing templates and uh, how to add JCE to Joomla and um, uh, and then someone most recently asked how to, they could publish a contact form inside an article. So that's um, that's some of the tutorials that I have lined up. I've got a contest extension that I'm going to be reviewing. I've got some um, other uh, tutorials to make on some FOCA components, PHOCA. Uh, and just just a bunch of stuff so yes uh, custom fields with Joomla contact form uh, I just started playing around with custom fields because um, uh, Peter Van Westen from regular labs I was talking with him and he sent me a couple of good resources so I did want to uh, start doing some tutorials on that too and since you asked let me just copy this here right now out of the chat and then we will go to uh, i will paste that as another idea for tutorial that's a good reminder um because uh yeah i, I do want to get going to, and there's uh basically as i got looking at the custom fields there's so many kinds and so many applications i just started to digest it in bytes but i'll i'll uh, i'll make that one of the the first ones too and if, you know, if you've got any other ideas for topics, then by all means, go ahead and suggest them. You can suggest them here, or put a comment, or you can email me at uh, tim at cybersalt.com. I'll put that there. And then um, you've got, that'll, that'll come right to me and we can sort that up. So do you, uh, uh, what your site is, a television site or a video site I am guessing Hajo Hajo TV yeah um, a cool standard contact form in Joomla yeah that would be uh, I know it's sometimes it probably needs a bit of work to get that one looking the way that one wants uh, what I'll tell you though one of the things that I like oh a live stream oh a live streamer on Twitch okay which game are you playing uh, one of the things that I like on um, like to do on sites is use RS Forms Pro for the contact because not only is it uh, you can set up the contact fields that you want uh, for when people are submitting a contact, but it also stores what's submitted in the database. And that's actually turned out to work pretty well because I've had clients who were um, their mail setup had broken either changing a password, you know, they change the password on, uh, they forget the password on their self to, to check mail on their cell phone. So they go into the server, they change the password for the account. They forget that the contact form is sending to it or using that for sending the mail. And then instead of their mails being lost, it's actually sitting in the database. You can read all the old mails. There's a, a record of that. So that's, um, let me just type that down to RS form pro. So that's, uh, that's another method that I've used, but, um, uh, but the, um, what was I going to just say here? Uh, but using custom fields with the contact form might actually uh, turn out to be a really cool way to do that as well. So I'll, I'll look into that. Mostly days standalone, but wait for the beta. There's that currently inactive. I'm going to look for that because I don't recognize that. I don't know if you've ever played EVE Online. I've played EVE Online for a whole bunch of years. Days, uh, Days is an open world survival video game currently developed by Bohemia Interactive. 
Standalone successor of the mod of the same name. Oh, okay, cool. Survival video game. Neat. Is that uh, is that a game where you have to... Oh, it's first-person shooter, third-person shooter, survival game. So is that a game where you have to invent things and build things and provide for yourself as well? Um, yeah, so I played Eve. I was saying that I played Eve for a couple of... Well, four or five or six years. I had two characters going... But I put them to sleep. They're inactive right now because uh, I've been working on on things that make money and don't cost money. Watch at YouTube and yes, it will come. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check out your channel here. Let's see. Also, do you want to... Uh, you have a... Um, obviously, you have a Joomla site because you're tuning in here. Can I get to it from your site? Maybe not. Do you want to post the link to your Joomla site and I'll check it out if you've got it up? i give myself a little bit of sound here. Okay. Let's skip ahead here. And you got 110 subscribers. That's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I was watching, you know, I've been doing a lot of uh, checking into YouTube. And as I'm building up my channels, and especially this one, and uh, there's video influencers. I I I think it was video influ influent video influencers, or Nick Nimmin that were talking about tips on how to start a YouTube channel for gamers. And one of the comments that one of them made, I think it was one of them, or maybe someone on a panel, was that the gamers that are making money on their YouTube channels have quite a few videos where there aren't even gaming. It's not just streaming as they play, um, but it's actually from um, the things that they're putting on and extra content that they're putting on. So I'm really fascinated by the YouTube stuff and uh, working away at the channel here. In fact, it looks like even right now as I check this, yep, got a new subscriber, Mike Sabulik. So excellent. 646. I, I think I have set an, uh, a mental and emotional goal for 2,000 subscribers for my channel by the end of the year, which is pretty tall order for me because um, I'm just at 646 and I grow like two or three a day, although I had a great day um, last week. Phil Taylor from myjuma.com. Uh, put links in the support section of his service on every page to the channel. I got a bunch of subscribers, I think like 12 subscribers one day. Um, but uh, I haven't been doing a lot of videos that people would be searching for. I've been doing the Maintenance Monday videos just to keep my toe in the water. But uh, as of November 1st, I'm going to be able to put out more popular topics as well as these general maintenance ones. And I'm hoping that that really cranks things up. So I thought maybe 2,000 would be a good goal by the end of the year. All right, well, that's cool. Um, there's your Twitch page, too. Let's check that out. Okay, channels intended for mature audiences. You're currently offline. Get an ad there. Well, thanks for tuning in, and uh, thanks for chatting, and look forward to hearing from you again, and don't forget to uh, shoot me an email if you have any have Get an idea PS4 for Pro any Pro other uh, tutorial topics, and by all means, when you get your site happening, then give me, a, give me a link so I can check it out and have a look at it. Yes, casually make money. Uh, hey, try, it's also section coding talks that you can host your channel there. Oh, but, all right. I will check that out. I will let's see, follow you. Well, I'll have to create an account. I don't want to do that live because I already typed in a password. Everyone could see months and months ago and I had to change it. 
Uh, but I will check it out. Maybe there's something I can do, and uh, that's a good a good tip. Make myself a note for that right now. I hadn't really even ever thought about doing Twitch because uh, to me it's always just seemed to be a gaming platform, but that, that makes fine. And casually making money too. Yeah, that's the dream, eh? To have some passive income where you can have your videos up, people are watching them, make a little bit of money, uh, wake up in the morning, see if someone's clicked on an ad or something's being displayed. And, um, and it's kind of fun to develop a follower as well, which is why it's fun to... Uh, have these live streams okay and i have a lot more spectators i'm definitely going to check that out definitely going to give that uh, give that a try something else to play around with i'm all for that something's going to take off eh yes yeah it is i and i just never ever even had the idea to be putting my tutorials on there but um and doing stuff on there but that's pretty cool i will consider that that's a that's a great suggestion Oh yeah, no more TV. I've uh, we've got we got Netflix, yeah, and that's it. And watching stuff on online. So, um, yeah, doing a lot of a lot of YouTube and Twitch. There's there's so much stuff. That is true indeed. All right, uh, I am going to sign off because what time is it here for me? I think it's probably morning for you. There, right, early morning, right now for me. 9.07 p.m. So by the time this crunch is going to be 10 o'clock and then I'll have some setup more to do tags and keywords and everything else. So anyways, thank you very much for watching, Hadjo. And uh, let me just check here. Yeah, Hadjo. I'm practicing at Hadjo. Uh, Hadjo TV. And um, I look forward to seeing your Joomla site. And I look forward to uh, touching base with you again. Uh, no one has a time or interest. Yeah, in the Joomla German community. Yeah, I uh, I only speak English, so unfortunately, I'm limited to using Google Translate to uh, translate titles. Uh, not my closed captioning for these channels, but um, fortunately, there's lots of people who have learned English as a second language. Uh, way more people than have. Eng than English people who have learned a second language as well. Yes, goodbye and see you soon on Twitch too. I will leave your page open right after I hang up here uh, and the stream. I'll sign up, create an account, I'll follow you and uh, we'll see what happens. So yeah, all right, thanks for watching and uh, I'll say it again, enjoy your Joomla site and God bless. Good night, have a great day where you are. God bless.